On my door, a dull brass plate says, Private Detective. The few friends I have call me Carnby. The others call me The Reptile. I don't care to think what my banker calls me. These days, I leave my letters unopened. Bills and threats to send in the receivers just ruin my day. When an antique dealer called Gloria Allen contacted me, I slipped into my best shirt, holstered my thirty-eight, and got to her shop as fast as I could. I was expecting something sordid. Blackmail, probably. Boy, was I wrong. What I was asked to do was visit a property called Dersetto and find a piano in the loft. It was an old piano with secret drawers, the kind people who buy stuff in antique stores go crazy over. The Dersetto house is supposed to be piled high with classy junk, furniture, books, paintings. It looked like Whoever owned Dersetto was about to get cleaned out. I was going to bring up the subject of money when Gloria Allen handed me a hundred and fifty dollars and a key. I kept myself from grinning at the thought of my banker's surprise. He doesn't like his victims getting away. I looked over a copy of the police report. The former owner of Dersetto, a guy called J. Hartwood, had hanged himself in the loft. The coroner concluded it was a clear-cut case of suicide. I promised Gloria Allen I'd give the place a look over. My report will be ready in a couple of days. I've been reading up on the history of the old house. It's the kind of place ghosts run away from in terror. Grisly murders, curses, lunacy. <laughs> Luckily, devil worship makes me smile, so this is my idea of a paid vacation. Oh. <laughs>